Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Roberta here, Fashion Over 50. And in today's video, I just wanted to show you some handbags and these are sort of like my top ones I have in my collection. I love handbags. I My collection's getting a little bit bigger and I'm branching out a little bit more to different brands. And I just wanted to show you um, what I like in a handbag and why. And I, I often say, say in my videos, I love small leather goods. I like card holders and uh, wallets. But today I just wanted to talk about some little handbags that I have in my collection and just show you what I have and why I like them so much. And I do use all my handbags. I change my handbag regularly and I try to, um, like I said, utilize my handbags as much as I can. So I just wanted to start off, first of all, this little handbag, I've been using this since I got back from France. Now this is just a little Michael Kors bag, but I took off the Michael Kors handle and I put on this strap that I bought in Paris. So in Paris, a lot, you'll see a lot of these, um, a lot of ladies walking around with different handbags with these straps. These straps come in a multitude of colors and I did buy this one I bought it mine's basically cream gold and black obviously my favorite colors but anyway I just I really been using this a lot since we've been back and I've really been enjoying that I probably will change my handbag shortly to something a little bit more summery just because the weather is getting better and um yeah so anyway that's that's my first one, this little Michael Kors bag that I've had. I've had that for a number of years, actually, and it's worked, it's been a really good bag for me. And the other thing I have is this, I just wanna show, this is just one of my little favorite ones that I actually bought this years ago in, uh, I bought it in Italy, and it's no name brand, It's it was handmade, I bought it from a little, um, crafter shop there. It's a little top handle with a crossbody strap in this beautiful purple with gold hardware. And I just love this little bag. I've used it. I use it a lot um, when I'm traveling as well as for a little nighttime bag. It looks, it's very cute. Um, and it's, you know, a really cute way to add a little bit of color to your outfit as well. And the other thing I just wanted to point out, I always store my handbags um, in bags or the original box that it comes in with all the documentation. So it's important that you do that because it helps to maintain the value as well. So that's really important. And next up, I just wanted to show you, and I've showed you this bag before. This is my little um, Demolier bag. And I really love this little bag. I take it on holiday. Um, I have the original uh, receipt and paper in there for that bag. But this is my little, it's my Nano Montreal. And it is the cutest little bag. It doesn't hold a whole lot. I can put my phone in there, a card holder, lipstick, um, my glasses. So it is quite, it's quite wide. It's got a little bit of space, but this bag, I love this bag. I've taken this on holidays lots of times. The other thing I do is I store my bags with the paper in them to help keep the shape of the bag. So there's my little Demolier bag, which I just love this little bag. I, I bought this one, I don't know if you remember, I got it last, was it last year? Um, just at, I'm from Canada, if, you, if you're new here but I got it from the Hudson's Bay, which is our, basically our national, if you want to call it, department store. And I got a really good deal on it. So I, was, I wasn't even looking for a Demolier bag. I just saw it in the store and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get it. And it's such a cute little bag. I just love that bag as well. Now, the next one that I wanted to show you, now this is, um, this is my Michael Coors. Um, bag this is a is a really nice bag as well it, it can be cross body or just on your shoulder it's a beautiful cream colored and i usually wear this 
a lot in the spring and summer and it's uh it's it's like a medium sized bag so it does hold a lot it's got a little pocket on the side this bag is um, still available um on the michael coors website um it is I think right now, I don't think it's even on sale right now. Well, it could be, it could be 25% off. Anyway, it's a lovely bag, super soft leather cream. Of course, it's gonna go with lots of different things. So a lovely bag. It's one of my, you know, my one of my favorites for spring. I might even move into this bag um, in the next little while because our weather is supposed to get a lot better. So hopefully, um, yeah. So I think I might just move into this bag shortly. And this, is my latest um, addition to my little handbag wardrobe and I bought this bag in Paris on our recent trip and I did show it to you while we were in Paris but it's a Lancaster bag and there's the Lancaster um, storage bag that it comes with and again it's got a crossbody strap and a top handle and it's got some lovely gold hardware, a little zip pocket on the back. And inside there is two compartments, which I've left the paper in for now. And it's a croc, 100% um, leather, made in, this bag was made in Italy. And it is just a lovely, lovely little evening bag or a daytime, you can wear it cross body. And I really love this bag. And none of these bags are super duper expensive. This one um, was about 200 euros. So not over the top expensive. Um, I think out of all of these ones, uh, the Demolier one is probably a little bit more expensive than any of those ones. And not to be left out is my pull-in bag now my pull-in bag i store it in the original box i have all the wrapper the tag the card that came with it now pull-in when we were in paris um the pull-in store was just right around the corner from our apartment and i have to tell you there was a lineup at that store every day now i bought mine a couple of years ago it's still absolutely perfectly new. It is uh, the number seven is what it's called. And I absolutely love this bag. I love the tan. I like tan, you know, tan belt, tan shoes, tan bag with navy, cream, white. It looks so nice. This bag is, like I said, I love this bag. Um, it's totally clean inside. And like I said, I store it in all in the original packaging. Um, the hardware is in excellent condition. There's no marks on it anywhere. And like I said, original bag, original box, everything. And they're, with Polen, they have, recently there's been some stuff on the internet about that the quality isn't as good as it was. I think this bag is a really good quality bag. I have no problem recommending Polen, and I actually did to one of the ladies that was on our tour in France. She wanted to get a mid-range bag. She had um, <clears throat> a, a budget of about $500 Canadian, because I'm Canada, so Canadian dollars. Uh, so I recommended her to go to Polen, and I, I hope she, I think she did. And uh, I said there's beautiful styles and that I had had a bag from there and that I really enjoyed it. So hopefully she did go there and get a bag for herself because honestly, they are lovely, lovely bags. And not to be, my last bag is my Saint Laurent little evening clutch that I love so much. Like I said, original paperwork, original box, original storage bag original paper and everything so i keep all the original items for these bags so this is an evening clutch from ysl that i absolutely love um, my husband gave this to me for my 60th birthday so it's a special little bag for me and i really really love this bag um it doesn't hold a whole lot it is my husband saying 
why are you getting such a small bag? I said, because I wanted an evening clutch. I wear a clutch bag like this in the evening quite often when we go out. And this is what I wanted, you know, to get. Um, cause I thought I would use this a lot more often than it was a day bag. Anyway, so that's it for today. I just wanted to show you some of my favorite bags and why I love them. I love each and every one of these bags for different reasons. And I use them for different occasions and different seasons. Um, I just think handbags can add such a, a good, um, twist to an outfit or finishing touch to an outfit so don't hesitate to buy a good leather bag it doesn't have to be a designer brand or any of the brands i mentioned just get yourself a nice quality high quality leather bag and it'll last you if you take care of it like i do they will last you forever like and a day i have to say they you know bags are one of the things that um I like to, I will invest money into because I will keep them for a lifetime. Anyway, thanks for watching my short little favorite handbag video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so I can make it to that 1000 mark. And that, then I can link a bunch of stuff for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and we will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye now.